Hi everybody! Now it's time for chapter three of our book, Up the Faraway Tree, by Enid Blyton. This chapter is called The Land of Roundabouts and Swings. After the adventure in the land of castles, Moonface said the children weren't to explore without him. Well, come with us tomorrow and we'll see what land is there, said Joe. It's the land of roundabouts and swings, said Moonface. So next day, they went up through the hole in the cloud and there was the land of roundabouts and swings. So in England, a roundabout is um, another word for a carousel um, at an amusement park. I'll ride on this elephant, cried Joe. The others chose animals to ride on, and off went the roundabout. But oh no, when the roundabout stopped, what do you think happened? All the roundabout animals walked off with their riders. Joe went off on his elephant, Beth and Franny were on giraffes, Robin was on a cat, and Moonface on a dog. But poor Joy was on a duck, and it rose into the air and flew away. Hey, come back, cried Moonface. The roundabout animals rushed about madly, and the children couldn't get off. What's going to happen, cried Joe. We've lost poor Joy, said Robin, upset. Goodness knows where her big white duck has gone with her. Just then, the roundabout started off again, and oh no, as soon as the animals heard the music, they all rushed back to their places and round and round they went as usual. And what a good thing, Joy's duck came flying back too, so everything was quite all right again. Now let's go on the swing, said Moonface. They'd go so nice and high. Come with me in my boat swing, Franny. The swings went very high with the children inside higher and higher and higher, and suddenly Moonface's swing swung right off its chains and up into the air. Everyone else's did the same. Help, help, are we going to crash? cried the children in fright. The boat swings flew through the air and then began to fall. Down, 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 oh no. But there was no accident because the swings were boats and landed gently on a nearby lake. Oh my goodness, said Joy. What crazy adventures we get in this land. I'm going to get out of my boat before it sails off. Quick, we must go home, cried Moonface. This land is leaving the top of the faraway tree. Run, all of you. And that's the end of the chapter. I think. What do you think? Shall we do one more today? Let's do one more. This chapter is called Joy's Birthday Treat. One day, the children went to see Moonface and Joy told him that her birthday was the very next day. Isn't that lucky? The land of wishes comes to the tree tomorrow, said Moonface. We'll all go for your birthday treat. So into the land of wishes they went. A birthday child could always wish 12 wishes there and they would all come true. It was such a nice land, full of pixies, brownies, gnomes, and fairies, all ready to grant a birthday child's wishes. Now, said Joy, who is a very nice child, I'm going to give each of you a wish. Moonface, what do you wish for? A tiny airplane to fly in, said Moonface. So Joy wished, and a tiny airplane appeared. Moonface got in, whoosh! Up he went and circled over their heads. How fun! You shall each have a turn, said Moonface generously. You first, Joy, because it's your birthday. They had so much fun. You're turned for a wish now, Silky, said Joy. I like magic shoes that can leap like a goat, said Silky. And there they were. Silky put them on and off she went, leaping all over the place. They're wonderful, she said. Thank you, Joy. Joe wanted a tiny train he could drive himself, and it suddenly appeared. Joe drove it proudly. Beth and Franny wanted dolls that could talk and walk, and really, the dolls were ever so nice when they arrived. Now you, Robin, said Joy, what do you want? 
A puppy of my own, please, said Robin, and it appeared at once. Oh, what a wonderful puppy, cried everyone. But oh no, you should have seen the puppy chase the two dolls. Now I'll wish for the biggest balloons you've ever had, said Joy, and I wish you could have seen them. They were so big that when the puppy caught hold of a string, he sailed up in the air with the balloon. Then Joy wished for a birthday party, a big birthday party. Just look at it. They all sat down to enjoy it. The birthday cake was magnificent. It had nine candles burning on it, and a happy birthday Joy was written all around it. Soon it was time to pull crackers. And will you believe it? The crackers ran up on little legs. So in England, at Christmas time, you pull things called Christmas crackers. And they're made of paper, and you're supposed to pull one half your side with someone else, and there's a little bang that goes off, and then there's a prize inside. And whoever gets the bigger part of the cracker gets the prize. There were wonderful caps and hats inside. The children looked great in them. Even the dolls had hats. You've had eight wishes, Joy, said Joe. What will you wish for next? You must wish for presents for yourself, too. Well, I would like a new dress, said Joy, and shoes to match. Oh, and maybe a pair of wings. Well, of course, she had them at once. She could fly up in the air just like a fairy. She flew out of sight. I hope she won't lose her way, said Joe. I say, I believe this land is moving on. Come back, Joy. But Joy didn't come back. She was having such an, a lovely time by herself. She didn't know that the land was going. The children didn't want to go back to the faraway tree without her. Oh no, would they have to stay there forever? Then Joy did come back. But the land had left the faraway tree and the ladder to it was gone. I've one wish left, cried Joy, remembering. I wish that we were all back safely in Moonface's room. And guess what? There they were. That's a relief. So after reading these two chapters in our chapter book today, I want you to think about two things. I want you to think about if you went for a ride on a carousel and there were animals that came to real life, what animal would you choose to go on? And I also want you to think about the birthday wishes. If you could have a birthday wish for what Whatever you want in a special land and it would come true, what would you wish for? See you tomorrow.